Yes guys, it's a boy Cam, CTB, Cam Talks Boxing, back with another video. Here are three reasons why Errol, the Truth Spence, beats Terence Bud Crawford. Guys, before we go straight into it, if you can hit the like button, that will tell YouTube that you want this video to be promoted. That will help me so much. And if you can hit the subscribe button, if you're new, join the family, join the community, <laughs> and join the road to 1K. I really appreciate your support, guys. Let's go straight into it. The first reason why Errol Spence beats Terence Crawford is because of Errol Spence's jab. Errol Spence has one of the best jabs in boxing. He's a southpaw, so he jabs with the right hand. And look, what's so special about his jab is, is that it's the output. It's the frequency of how often he throws the jab. You know, it's it's just non-stop. We've seen it, we've seen it really, you know, help him build his attacks. You know, it helps him build up his, he, he uses that, he uses it as a range, range finder, and then he follows and um, follows up on his attacks to the body, that he, the cross left, his left hand is powerful and by a lot of people call him basic because he's just so sound when it comes to the fundamentals. His jab will help beat Crawford, will help him beat Crawford because it will allow him to walk him down, you know, it will push Crawford back and he'll be able to, you know, have that high guard behind the jab and put the pressure on Crawford, you know. I honestly don't think that I can I'm convinced that Crawford hasn't fought anyone with the output of Errol Spence and this and it all comes down to the jab of Errol Spence is one of his most underrated tools and he's one of the best jabbers inside boxing not only will the jab allow Errol Spence to come forward but when it allows him to come forward it will allow him to fight his fight he wants to come he wants to come in he wants to find he wants to land the jab on Crawford and he wants to fight him on the inside he wants to you know break him down to the body and that, that type of fight suits Errol Spence the second reason Errol Spence Jr beats Terence Bud Crawford is because of the resume Errol Spence has one of the best resumes in the welterweight division and arguably inside boxing right now Look, who has a better welterweight resume than him right now? Sean Porter's retired. Obviously, Sean Porter's probably got the edge because he's fought everyone. But Errol Spence has fought everyone. He's fought everyone. He's, every belt he has right now, the WBA, WBC, and IBF, he's, he's, beat, he's taken them from the champion. In 2017, he fought Kell Brook. And, he, and Kell Brook only came off one defeat. Yes, a damaging defeat against Triple G, but he was still in his prime. He fought Ugas after beating Manny Pacquiao, who uh, no one thought he, he'd beat. He beat for the WBC. He, bought, he beat Sean Porter in a great, great fight after Sean, Peter, Sean, Sean Porter became a two-time world champion, beating Danny Garcia. So Errol Spence, he's beat the champions, but just his resume, his his experience, you know, the resume shows that he's got more experience to an extent and to an extent he's even got more he's got more experience in the tougher fights and we're all saying this is going to be a 50 50 fight which i do believe and that gives errol spence the edge for me because he's had though he's been there in the trenches he's had you know he's had those close fights against top top opposition and you look at crawford's resume who is his best win maybe gun bower back at 135 yeah that's a great fight i appreciate that but at welterweight he hasn't fought the same opposition as as errol spence and it's, it's as simple as that so i think the i think that the experience in the top big fights in the big in, in the big arenas look don't forget terence crawford hasn't fought in that much of a big that he hasn't fought in many big arenas like Spence. Spence has fought sold out AT and T Stadium, Dallas Stadium, numerous times. And look, it's going to be a big occasion. And I know Spence is going to thrive under the pressure. So I feel like the, the resume and experience of Errol Spence will play a big factor. The third reason why Errol Spence Jr. will beat Terence Bud Crawford is because of the size and strength. Errol Spence is 
right now he should he should be at 160 forget 154 he should be at 160 he's a natural middleweight he's got the even in the face of you can see the size difference and the strength i honestly feel like errol spence has the potential to actually break down terence bud crawford don't get me wrong buds he's grown into the weight and he's a devastating cow knockout knockout puncher i'm not denying that but errol spence has the size and strength over him i truly believe that i think it's going to allow and if and if crawford's not disciplined if it gets into a dogfight i see only one outcome i see errol spence getting on top but like the size and strength and the engine of errol spence will be key in decisive will be decisive in key moments in the fight especially at the latter stages I think the best strategy for Errol Spence is having a higher guard, walking him down, making it a toe-to-toe -to -toe inside fight, and they will also minimise the chances of Bud Crawford and counter punching him. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and join the road to 1K, and I'll be back with another video.